evil took your cousin's mother away from her. My sister. You have no sympathy for me? Or for charity? Well, evil did that? I am really shocked that you're not blaming me for it. Because I've got that whole evil connection thing going on, right? I mean, that's what you're accusing me of, isn't it? Besides, Mom, she wasn't an orphan for long. You and Dad took her in, and you started treating her better than you treat me, your real daughter. Okay, okay just Get stop your talking. hands off me, you bitch! Of course you're entitled to be angry at Kay's behavior. But I never thought she'd start tossing around life-changing ultimatums without checking with me. Oh, come on, Sam. She's not gonna move out. She just knows she can get to us with a threat. It's all part of her drama queen act. Well, how can you be so sure? I mean, she seemed pretty serious to me. And now, of all times, when she's pregnant and alone, she needs to be close to her family. Oh, she's rejected her family. She's rejected you. I hate to be the one to have to say this. But if anyone had anything to do with those things happening, I would say you're the one who invited evil here. Are you stop it right there. Are you can't possibly believe that our daughter's made some kind of a pact with evil forces. Oh, it would certainly explain her behavior these last couple of years. Sometimes I think she's possessed. You know what? I don't have to stand here anymore and listen to you say these horrible things about me. Honey, what do you know? Don't... No, Daddy, I'm sorry, but she's pushed me to this. Bye. Kay. Kay. How could you? What's happened to my family? Something wrong? You don't want to know. Yes, I do. Come on, what, does it have something to do with Kay? No, no, not this time. I just came from the Russells, and I just witnessed one of the ugliest domestic disputes that I've ever seen. And not between Eve and T.C. I'm afraid so. Grace, you wouldn't have believed it if you had been there. T.C. gave it to Eve with both barrels. I mean, I am really worried about our best friends. Sam, what were Eve and T.C. arguing about? Simone and Whitney. It turns out that they're both in love with Chad. Oh, no. It's a lot like the situation between Kay and Charity over Miguel. Only thank God neither of the Russell girls are pregnant. I still can't believe that Kay's... gonna have Miguel's baby. That makes two of us. You know, if you had told me a year ago that my oldest daughter would be pregnant and living with Tabitha because she couldn't stand to live in the same house with me. I never would have believed it. To make matters worse, Charity is heartbroken and Miguel's torn in two, trying to be responsible and follow his heart at the same time. I just pity even TC if they have to go through any of what we've gone through. But, you know, it, it doesn't make sense. I mean, you said that TC's lashed out at Eve. He blames her for everything. He accused her of putting her medical career before being a good wife and mother. Oh, that's ridiculous. I mean, just because Eve is a dedicated doctor, it doesn't mean that she's ever put anything before her children or her husband. You know, TC's never complained about Eve's work before. Or maybe we never heard him. Maybe it's been a sore subject with them all along. I mean, all I know is TC was dead serious. I've never heard him talk to her that way before. Okay. Thanks. You know, Sam, it just doesn't make any sense. Eve and TC have never had any problems. I mean, next to us are the happiest couple in harmony. Look what's happened to us. Do you, do you think it's something we did? Or is there a terrible pall that is hanging over Harmony that keeps everybody from being happy? I mean, I think of all the couples we know that are having problems. I mean, what is going on? I wish I knew. But at least in our case, we know where the trouble started. When David Hastings came to town and took up residence right next door to B&B. &B. You know what, Sam? That's just not fair. Because Ivy was a problem long before that, and she still is by living in our garage apartment. Look, it really doesn't matter where it started. But we're doomed if we don't try to get a handle on our lives very soon. You know, if we keep living the way we have been, we're going to lose our family and each other forever. Sam, you don't mean that. I mean, we may not be legally married, but we have a life together. 
I mean, home, children, years of love, that's not just going to disappear. I'm afraid it could if things keep going the way they have. Grace, I want nothing more than to go back to how things used to be between us, but we can't. Well, Sam, if you're going to make this all about David... Well, how can I help it, Grace? I mean, he's the one that won't give you the annulment so we can get married in the eyes of the church. As long as he keeps holding out, there's no way that we can be husband and wife. Sam, I, I can't ask him to lie before church. But and before... you could, Grace, if you really loved me. Okay, Sam, so if he lies, Ivy's still going to be living under our roof. Oh, well, this isn't getting us anywhere. And besides, I'm not married to Ivy. I've never been married to Ivy. And as soon as she's physically strong enough, she's moving out. Well, she's still going to be a problem. For you? Not for me. Grace, until you're willing to face some cold, hard facts, like your marriage to another man, there's just no way that we're going to be able to put our lives back on track again. I can't believe that you feel so negative about our future. I mean, I thought what we shared was stronger than that. So did I. Until I realized how important David Hastings is to you. Now, well, Grace, look at the facts. You and I have been leading two totally separate lives. I mean, we don't even share a bed anymore. Is that what this is about, our not sleeping together? It's more than that, and you know it. We don't even find time to talk important issues through anymore. And that isn't Kay's fault or Charity's or even Ivy's or David's. So what are you saying? I'm saying that our marriage, uh, no, excuse me, our relationship isn't as strong as it used to be. Our marriage is in serious trouble. Sam, you make it sound so dire. It is. <laughs> Chief Bennett. What? Yeah, sure, I'm on my way. There's been a gas explosion at the refinery outside of town. I gotta go, okay? Listen, we'll talk about this later. Maybe you're right, Sam. Something does always get in the way. 